Hey guys, this is Rene, welcome back for another video on this channel and today we will talk a bit about the hardware that you need if you want to trade automatically. This is a question that I was asked a lot in the past and I did I never really realized that this is an issue because to me it was kind of obvious what the answer is but um, yeah, let me explain a little bit why you need actually no hardware at all or no specific hardware, no specific trading setup or something like we have to think about what it actually is that we do when we trade automatically and there are two components pretty much the first one is um, I would call it the system development so it is writing the code for your program and then compiling it and then also testing and optimizing it and the second part that we do is um, just using the program on um, yeah in one of our accounts so the second part is pretty much the trading part and for the first part the actual coding part and the system development or right, let's let's speak about the coding part maybe we split it into three parts so for the coding part um, part you need like the the worst laptop is good enough for the coding part if you can run the meter trader on this laptop or on this PC you are good to go. You do not need any specific hardware for coding of automated trading strategies in the MetaTrader because essentially when you are coding, you are writing text files. So if your computer is capable of opening and modifying text files, you're pretty much good to go. So the requirements are not that huge for just coding work um, and developing automated trading strategies might be different for some other um, coding environments but but for MetaTrader programming if your program is able to run the MetaTrader you can code strategies just like what I said like if you're coding you're pretty much just working in text files so this is coding so everyone or every PC can do this and if you compile you turn this code into a executable file that your computer can then execute in the meter trader as automated trading strategies which leads us to the second part which is the actual strategy testing and optimizing and for strategy testing like technically testing if your code is working if there are any bugs or something again your very not so strong pc is good enough to do this you just like start the test in the visual mode you check out like where the pros and cons of your strategy are you check if there are any errors or if everything's running smoothly and if your PC can do this again you're good to go you do not invest into a high-end gaming or processing PC it's just like the money is out of the window you, you you don't need to do this it's just stupid if you ask me you just need a really basic easy laptop like for example my laptop is like two or three years old now and i'm thinking about getting a new one but not because of coding more because of video editing because the coding is like not a lot of work at all for for my laptop so also checking your code if it's working technically and checking the strategy your pc is fine don't invest into some super expensive PC. But this leads to the next steps, which is actual strategy optimization, like long-term testing over multiple, multiple years, optimizing different combinations of inputs, and then also running the EAs. For this, you also do not need a good PC, but, and this is a big but, you might need a strong server. And this is what I recommend. Like when you trade automatically, you do not want to trade on your own PC anyways, because it makes no sense, obviously. You need your system to run 24 hours, five days a week or seven days a week if you trade crypto. So it makes no sense to do this on your own PC. There are multiple reasons that speak against using your own laptop or PC for automated trading. For example, like internet connection stability, uh, power stability, stuff like that. Also, you do not want to use your own PC uh, for just trading all the time. So for this reason, we do not trade on PCs or personal computers, but instead we use VPS solutions for this. 
VPS means virtual private server. Okay, it's somehow still private, but it's a server. So you do not do it on your own like PC that is physically standing in your own living room. You do it on a server that is in some server farm. So how this looks like is, yeah, I will show you the specs of my specific server in a second, but it looks like this. Like this is my VPS. You usually connect during uh, or over a remote desktop application. You just have access to a server that is located in some server farm somewhere in the world. Doesn't really matter actually. And these servers are great because they have a uptown, uh, uptime of like 99.99%. Like that's theoretically, but usually they are up all the time, so you do not really have to worry. Also, the internet stability is super, super good, so they usually do not have any problems with internet stability. That's why we use servers or VPS solutions for all automated trading, and this is why here the actual power of the server can have an impact. But, again, we have to, like, look at this in more detail because the difference is especially with the optimization and testing process because usually if I do optimization runs where I test like hundreds of different combinations for the inputs I do this on my server and not on my private PC because as I said my private PC is not the fastest so I also do this on the server and it's great because you can do other stuff on your a private PC like for example more coding and you can do the optimizations on the VPS and it is just done in the background kind of because the VPS is running all the time anyways so you can just use it for optimizations and that is this, uh, that is what I would recommend so let's have a look at, at the specs of my specific server so my server is a shared VPS so it's not a dedicated VPS so I am not the only one using this specific server, I share it with different people. I do not know these people, the sharing is done by the um, yeah, hosting or server provider, but these shared VPS solutions are a lot cheaper than dedicated VPS solutions. So I would just recommend if you are not like making a living off of trading and if it's not your like full-time job if you're not a money manager or something you do not really need a dedicated vps uh, also again i just use a shared vps it's fine and here are my specs like i have a it's not a small vps it's a bigger vps so i have uh, 32 gigabyte ram i have um, the processor is kind of fast I would say with eight um, cores I think 2.5 gigahertz I'm not a hardware um, expert but if we for example have a look at the actual Strato um, hosting provider that I choose we can see like this is a German website the German provider you should choose the English one of course if you do not speak German but here just as a comparison I have the biggest package the largest option that they have here and I pay 68 euro per month which is a lot of course if you do not like live off of trading but I will explain in a second if you really need this so you can see here like I get the 32 gigabyte RAM uh, 600 gigabyte um, of hard drive which is not super important I would say um, and yeah, I pay 68 um, euro per month. Also, I get like the unlimited internet, of course, but they usually have this and there's a fast like um, internet connection. But do you really need this? Um, if you do a lot of optimizations, maybe. It will, of course, speed up the optimization process. It's kind of simple. The more power you have or your VPS has, the faster your optimizations will be. That's pretty simple math, I think, and everyone is able to understand this. But for the trading part, for the actual trading part, the server speed is not that important. So do not spend around 60 euro per month if you just want to use it for your trading and if you do not do a lot of optimizations. Why do I have this big package? I have it for optimizations and also because I stream on the server. Like as you can see here, I use uh, the broadcasting software to stream on YouTube. This is taking a lot of resources and I pro probably could not do it with the smallest package or the second smallest package. But if I would not stream, I think with my strategies, I would still be fine with like 
one of these packages. For example, I would be fine if I just pay 20 euro per month and the server would be capable of like handling, I don't know, four or five meter trader terminals and do all the trading. It depends on your expert advisors, of course, but if your expert advisors are not super inefficient, you're fine with a mid-tier um, uh, server. And more important, most people do not actually trade on multiple meter trader terminals at the same time. So if you're only trading one account, definitely choose the smallest possible package of your hosting provider because it will be fine. I used the smallest package for multiple years and I think I was having up to three meter trader terminals on this smallest package and everything was fine. It was not like super smooth all the time when I tried to move the mouse, but it was fine. It did all the trading. There were no trading errors. There were no actual negative impacts on the trading. So do not spend money if it's not necessary. Just spend money if it makes an actual difference. So what my recommendation for you is do not buy an expensive personal computer for your coding or your just checking the strategy if it works. Use the PC or laptop that you already have. It will be enough. And if you want to use or if you want to start trading on a demo or live account or with a prop firm, doesn't really matter, get a VPS. If you want to trade automatically, this is highly recommended because it's more stable, also more convenient, and I think in the long run also cheaper probably than using your personal PC. Use a VPS. Use a VPS provider that supports a language that you speak and choose a VPS provider that is not like super expensive. Just search for some VPS providers in your country and compare them. A really important thing is I would use a Windows VPS because the meter trader just works better with Windows compared to like Linux or Mac. So use a Windows VPS, but do not go for the biggest package if you just want to use one or two meter trader terminals. Also, if you need more information on how to set up a VPS, I made a whole separate video for this that I will link somewhere here. And if I forgot to link it, search for René Balke VPS on YouTube and you will find it. So go check out this video, set up your own VPS. Do not invest money if it is not necessary. But if you are, for example, a professional or if you want to become professional in the next one or two months with your automated trading strategies, if you're using, for example, five or six meter trader terminals at the same time and you also want to do optimization, you might want to use a bigger VPS solution because more power obviously is better and faster for optimizations. So I hope this little video helped you. Again, I was getting this question a lot in the last time, so I just wanted to like um, get this out in the world. Maybe it's, it helps one or two of you. And yeah, let me know if you have questions in the comments. Uh, anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great time. Good trades. Bye-bye.